How's it going everyone? I am Kanjinsula, I hope you're having a good day, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video! Alright, so there's been a lot of confusion regarding Shiny Shadow Pokemon from Grunt Battles. A lot of players grinded out a ton of Team Go Rocket Grunts over the weekend, only to come out disappointed. Well, since Niantic did not provide details regarding how you can get these Pokemon, I figured I would do it here. That's what this video is going to be about, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Okay, let's talk about Shiny Shadow Pokemon. So, over the weekend, it was made possible to get Shiny Shadow Pokemon from Team Go Rocket Grunts. This was massive because it was only possible to get these highly coveted Pokemon from Team Go Rocket Leader Battles before. However, a lot of players were surprised to find that there were barely any Shiny Shadows to be found. Well, as it turns out, there were a lot of important little tidbits that they completely left out. First of all, not every Grunt Battle encounter will have the chance at being a Shiny. If you wanted a Shiny Shadow Snorlax, unfortunately, that is just not possible yet. The only Grunt Battle encounters that can be Shiny are the ones that were available from Team Go Rocket leaders beforehand. Out of the current pool of Grunt Battles, that only includes 5 of them. Grimer, Mawile, Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. So what does this mean? Well, it's both good and bad news for people who want Shiny Shadow Pokemon. In terms of the good news, this means you can target which Grunt Battles will possibly provide a Shiny Shadow Pokemon. If you know what has and hasn't been a Shiny Shadow before, then there are certain Grunts that you can ignore. This is also good news in that if a particular Shiny Shadow Pokemon is available from Team Go Rocket Leader Battles, but you were unable to get it before they rotated out, then you can start targeting them in Grunt Battles. Now the reason why this is bad news should be obvious. This new bit of info kind of deflates a lot of the excitement that players had regarding this new feature. The prospects of getting a Shiny Shadow Pokemon that no one else would have is no longer there. For myself, I was really hoping that I could pick up a Shiny Shadow Pokemon that hasn't been featured in Leader Battles before like Snorlax, Dratini, etc. Now, another detail that Niantic has yet to disclose is the actual shiny rate for Team Go Rocket Grunt Encounters. Right now, it is presumed that the shiny rate is going to be whatever the odds are for that Pokemon. This means for Grimer, Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, it will be the full odds at 1 in 500. For Mawile, it would be the perma-boosted rate of 1 in 64. Since Niantic hasn't stated anything, players just do not know how many Grunt Battles they need to do. Personally, I'm okay with the shiny rate being much lower than Team Go Rocket Leader Battles. I really like the idea of the leaders giving you much better odds at getting a shiny shadow Pokemon. It's what has always made them feel more rewarding and worth doing. I was kind of worried that allowing Grunts to also give you shiny shadow Pokemon would kind of ruin leader battles. I know some people out there will disagree with that sentiment, but it is just my opinion. So yeah, just to recap, shiny shadow Pokemon will be available for only Pokemon that was once available from Team Go Rocket Leader Battles. Also, the shiny rate seems to be much lower than what you would find from Leader Battle Encounters, so if you want a shiny shadow Pokemon, just keep those two things in mind. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Leave your thoughts down below what you think about all of this. Are you disappointed that Niantic did not disclose this info? Were you one of the players who grinded out grunts hoping for a shiny shadow? Let me know what you are thinking in the comments, and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here, and don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Kanchinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.